It's the USA's edition of the Ritz Report. Yep. All right. It's not uh, over yet. So. It's not over yet. <laughs> we're, we're taking the show to Budapest. Uh, how, how did everything shake out today? Good stuff. I mean, Yared, uh, yeah, he got me a little scared with like, uh, I was right there at, you know, 180 to go or whatever. And uh, I think he was like, oh my gosh, this guy, I can't believe this kid's taking the lead on me. But he, he was good down the home stretch, so it was good. Was the race plan, I guess, like, when, when you guys discussed, like just yeah. up in front? Yeah, I just was like, you know, look, just do the same thing in, from the prelim, uh, get to the front, don't really do anything, but uh, start to ratchet down a little bit and then uh, just, uh, yeah, just good, good last 300 meters. So that was kind of the, the goal. And so I think, uh, yeah, he was, uh, he made, he gave me conflicting uh, reports on what he wanted to do. Like some, like I think he kind of wanted to hammer it just to go for it, you know, like he just wanted to run like 331 from the front, but I wasn't really a fan of doing that. So, um, but uh, but yeah, no, I think uh, I think he was he was pretty in his in his own way was pretty amped up for it. So, he, so he's fully capable of, of just possibly doing that, so, like something like a 331, 332 solo where. You know, we were kind of discussing this at, at length where it's like, oh, th there's obviously people It's like, oh, what about Ollie and Mario? Usually the guys who, like, he keys off of. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess, you know, here it's here's by himself, you know, like uh, he's basically like him and Mario are like old married couple, you know, like they just kind of like they're very different, you know, but Mario takes care of everything. Yeah, just is like, you know, doesn't really know what's going on. Hello. Hello. <laughs> wow. And, uh, and that's all right. <laughs> and uh, so... He, um, yeah, like, he doesn't have Ali, you know, like, in Mario here, but he's just, uh, you know, he really just was ready to go, and, uh, you know, I don't really worry about him, but at the same time, like, you know, I was waiting for him at the hotel, and he was, like, five minutes late, and I was thinking I've got to come up and get him, and then it's, like, 55 minutes before the start, and I was like, hey, are, are you going to warm up, you know, like, and so, yeah, I'm going, way, you know, and so, yeah, I think uh, he's just... You know, he's very chill, nothing gets to him, but uh, he's a killer on the track. All right, 50 days till Budapest, what, is, what are you, we working on with, with Yared? So I think we just go back to work. I think uh, we didn't really chill too much for this. I mean, we don't want to take it for granted ever, you know, but like uh, at the same time, you know, like we, uh, so we, yeah, we, we trained pretty hard still since, um, since Oslo. And so it was good to kind of have this race week, but now I think we just go back into some good training. He's going to race in a few weeks and uh, maybe we'll go up to Sam Ritz for three weeks beforehand and just get used to the time change, put the finishing touches on it with the boys and uh, the rest of the team and then head straight in. What sort of tweaks do you make in training with the expectation that, hey, Worlds is going to be fast versus maybe five years ago, it's going to go slow? Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of flashy words, you know, double thresholds and stuff. We don't do that. He like, said it. I mean, yeah, we don't, we don't do that. You know, like those guys all run 329 without doing it, but yeah, not yet. I mean, but like at the end of the day, we just try to do like all the appropriate things throughout the year and continue to let them develop because like a lot, they are just developing still. And so we're just trying to make them really well-rounded and developed to the point that, yeah, when they stop getting good, you know, then we'll go there. But like, yeah, I always want to have somewhere for them to go. And so just try to get them really strong. Um, I think all my guys could run really good 5Ks. Um, and I think they could probably all run, you know, 145 for the 800 or something like that. And so, you know, they, they are well-rounded and developing. And that's kind of, for this, I'm not going to prioritize Budapest over also over the Olympics and all those other things. So just trying to take that approach with them that they're getting better every year. And, and so, uh, so like changing, yeah, we want to be ready now in that three week period of time. But yeah, I mean, our guys are usually good to go from, I mean, he's right at 329 now. And I, I'm sure that they'll be able to run. I mean, we're at 347 indoors, and they'll have gas in the tank still, hopefully, in September. Awesome. Appreciate it, Ritz. Yeah.